This is the future. Morning guys, so today is the day that we are putting up my Wendy house or tool shed. So um, I was going to do it myself to give you guys a video on how to do it but <sighs> cost wise it's going to cost me exactly almost the same if not more to buy the, the wood myself and the screws and the treatment. So these guys are coming in here, dropping off, assembling it, treated it, everything for the same price. So, and it's less work for me. But I'll show you as we go what we do. And what's nice is at the factory, they already built the house in panels. But our problem is my measurements, because I was alone, I had to do an AR measure. Do not trust an AR measure, please. Uh, the space in the alleyway was three by two. And then we just realized it's actually three by 1.78. So we have to trim it a bit. So they are busy now at the back cutting out a little piece that we can make it fit but I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna be fine oh. so let me give the guys some, some coffee and then I'll show you guys what we're doing so these are the two walls this is the paneling I must say if I was gonna do it myself it would have been um, better quality wood this is just like rough cuts that they use and the same was treated again within six months um, Oh, but I must say, I think I would have done a better job. So here we go guys, this is the, the back panel. And our problem is now here, this, this corner in front is a bit more narrow than what we originally thought. And stupid me, forgot to take into account this distance. So that's why we are trimming the windy a little bit. Let me just put that brick back. I don't want that brick to come up. So let's go and see what's, what's trimming. This is the floor. You guys are gonna be famous, you must smile. Yay! <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a YouTube channel, so I make all kinds of videos on my, on my oh, channel. <laughs> yeah, so I'm showing my guys today how to put up a Wendy and modify it on the fly. We are putting bricks underneath the floor to firstly level it and secondly to stabilize the floor. Okay, it's coming together, it's coming together. I'm just not sure what is their plans here because I was thought they're gonna maybe cut the wall uh, to bring it in and then close like close to make it square but I don't think they're gonna do that. I think they're gonna make it slope like this. But we won't tell anyone else. It's fine. Let's see what is their plan. What, what are they thinking? At this stage, we're just using long nails and nailing everything together. There we go guys, two hours, fully assembled and done. I know we had to make a bit of a change here, so I'm losing that much space. Uh, I'm losing that much space, but oh well, it's one of those things. So this is my windy now. Now I've got some storage space. I can pack all that stuff in the garage out, which is awesome. So all I need to do now, that I'm going to do myself now, I'm going to put up a shelf on this side and I'm going to put up a shelf on this side and obviously maybe two shelves on this side. So I need to go buy, uh, let's buy four shelves and then on this part I think I'm going to put a, a light, run an electrical cable down here 
and we're just gonna make a oh we don't even have to make a hole there's already a convenient space right there and we're gonna run extension into the garage because the plug is just on the other side of this window then at least if I want to um, basically uh, come in at night I can and this floor everything is on so it's gonna go anywhere uh, like I showed you guys it's quite a tight fit it's not gonna fall over or anything it's in where it's in and I mean for the price I paid what did you expect I tell the guys now if I was gonna build this thing it would have taken me much longer to build I would have had a uh, frame construction with supports in and different planking my my house would have been much stronger and exact and definitely more expensive definitely but this is all pallet wood and uh, yeah so uh, let me clean out the house and then I'm gonna go and get myself the shelves and the light and a bit of electrical cable and also we need to get a a handle which thank goodness I actually have handles and we're gonna put a, a sliding lock so let's go and do that so long as you guys can see the plug is right there the window is right there and there's the windy so we're gonna have the cable coming up there and coming into the window so if we need to use a light we can use a light and this window doesn't close anyway there's always a gap so that's cool and now most of this shit is gonna go in there hi guys this is just a short and sweet video this is what happens when you spray mr. man or any kind of chemical on an LCD screen you get these very irritating freaking marks I hate this marks so I was told to get this it is a screen cleaning spray gel and it comes with a microfiber lapiki rag or whatever you want to call it you can get this from half corporation so let's taste this and see if we can get that screen clean wow guys look at that the proof is in the pudding all those nasty nasty extra nasty lines are gone i'll clean it the second time because i still see this here and there a little bit of a smudge left but wow all those ugly freaking lines is gone yay there we go guys there's my first change or add-on on the windy is a latch so i can lock the door good morning guys so this is the following day and this has been the second addition to my windy these shelves where i can pack all my oils and garden poisons and everything on top and maybe some extra boxes and uh, yeah now the use case scenario for our speaker listening to music while we're working in a remote area yay this will be my final addition to the Wendy the spotlight outside and the light on the inside and uh, I'm just making doing some cable management and then um, we're going to connect the cables together and there's a hole here and we'll take an extension out into the garage um, with a plug and then we can use this light if I want to get something at night and also have nice light here in the passageway if I need to come here in the dark perfect and when I'm done with that we can start packing the, the windy house and empty the garage Okay guys, the electrical connection is made. I settled the, bag, the cable nicely. I think it looks good enough. I mean, it's just a windy. Now, the cable is running out here, that hole. And it's gonna go in here, where I'm going to connect the plug. Easy as that. Okay guys, so the power is on or the plug is connected and there we go now we've got a light inside the Vendi and we've got a nice spotlight outside to assist us to come here at night and that's it so my add-ons is complete 
Now we're gonna start packing all the shit in the garage in here. <sighs> Good times. Can you guys believe that all that shit that was standing in the garage has fit inside this Wendy so perfectly and with space to spare. I can put my lawnmower in, my garden tools. I am so chuffed with myself. This was the perfect measurement and the perfect space. And everything looks neat now. Cool. Wendy house, done. That's it guys, everything is in, everything. So uh, although it might look a bit uh, confusing, it's actually strategically packed. So I know exactly what I use the most is right in front, what I use the least is at the back. But everything I wanted to put in here is in here. And if, I think if I pack it a bit better, I can even get more stuff in here. But it seems like I'm gonna have a fight between the honeybees and the wasps because I've had two visitors already coming to check this place out to see if it's gonna be a, a lonely place to live. And I need to kill those bastards as soon as possible. I'm not gonna have bees inside here. There we go, guys. This is the nighttime test to see how the light works. Uh, energy saver light, that was quite cheap. So yeah, and the spotlight works 100%. Now we've got some light down in the passageway. It's actually also quite bright. It's quite a, a bright light. So yeah, everything is A-OK. -okay. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there's now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where I do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers